All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, felicitations, celebrations, big deal. Uh, just recently, we hit 100 million views here on this channel. Thank you uh, in this video sponsored by Squarespace, where we are going to mess with uh, the new tattoo machine I got not too long ago. I pieced it together. No, uh, I'm not getting... I'm not going to give myself a Squarespace tattoo. We're not quite at that level. Um, but I am open to the option. Okay, first, just because of the 100 million views, here is a chart showing um, the view count ever since I made the made the YouTube channel in 2007. You can kind of see how it uh, goes. It's low for a long time and then kind of picks up in the last few years. I don't know why that happened. Um, YouTube, you know, it's the algorithm. But um, I'll do a quick celebratory dance. I just have all of you to thank. Uh, there's about 850,000 subscribers and 100 million views just over. But that means you all watched about 117 videos each, which is very impressive. I appreciate the dedication. Of course, that's assuming that only subscribers were watching videos. So look here, here we have some cling wrap, which I've put over my cutting mat for the first time. And the fact that I'm um, touching it without wearing gloves, here's your typical tattooist gloves, right? Got my gloves on. And yeah, like I said, this is the, the brand of this stuff I put on here. The plastic wrap said precision medical, but it was in like, uh, you know, like metal music, goth lettering. Uh, so, you know, it's like precision medical. So to to appeal to tattoo types, I guess, is this like a stereotype that, I guess it is a little bit. Uh, what else do we have? Compressed towels, sterile alcohol prep pads. Here is the power source. I think I just turned on the thing for a second. I'm going to put that and put that there. It comes with this, uh, I have this foot pedal, which I have on the ground, obviously. And then here is the tattoo machine. Where's my other part? Down to here. Put this. Tighten this down. Then we have some cartridge needles. Um, this one of these says RL, which means round li liner, I think, and one says RS, which means shader. So I'm gonna try the liner. I'm not going to do that yet. First, um, where's my ink? Right here. The ink I'm going to use. Dynamic black. Do not use in or near eyes. <gasps> I do have eye pro. Uh, oh, that's dirty. Uh, just to be clear, I am a big fan of safety glasses and I am interested in doing a safety glass, uh, safety glasses review. In fact, I have a bunch to review. Um, that, and I will make that video sometime, reviewing safety glasses so you know what's up, what's down, uh, as far as these things. Okay, what, uh, what, what do we need? Oh, please, also, please don't get your hopes up. I'm not going to tattoo myself right now. I don't, I'm sorry if I was misleading, but I have some uh, fake skins here. Actually, I got these from China, so I wouldn't be like really, really surprised if they were eh, just like a little bit real. Once I feel comfortable with the fake skin, then we can switch to the real stuff, you know? It feels very weird. Actually, I don't really know what it feels like because I have gloves on, but what I can feel feels weird.
put some of the ink into this little cup. Now I don't, I don't know what I should have this set at. I think I can go up to like 12 or 14, you know, this is like the power level, you know, like how fast and hard the needle uh, goes. Like is this, at seven, it's like, duh, 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 duh. I mean, much faster. Like it's really like, grrr, you know, like uh, but like, no, maybe seven's like, grrr, and then 12 is like, grrr, and then set it at one, it's like, kawump, bawump, bawump, bawump. but I don't know, I guess I can set it at seven and then adjust from there, right? I'm going to open up the cartridge now. Dude. I think it's in there. There we go. So then I can hold it like this. Where's my, where's the pedal? Oh, I was stepping on a plug. Right now, if I step on this. I think it's, I think if I, I don't really know what I'm doing, if that's not obvious, but I think it, at the inside, at the resting place on the inside, it shouldn't be poking out. And then maybe it should be poking out some amount. Wait, let me Google it real quick. How much should the tattoo needles stick out? said no more than two millimeters and not less than one. I think it's way too far right now then. Right now it's at almost three. All right, right now it's at like one and a half. All right, so then we're gonna take a sterile, sterile alcohol prep pad or two. Clean the skin. I'm somehow marking it while cleaning it. I think my gloves, is, my glove blackness is coming off onto it. All right, then we have these compressed towels, which I think are useful for wiping away. I think it would be very bad if you managed to swallow one of these. The compressed towel soaks up the water and uncompresses. Like so. Very cool. Also, a little bit of uh, Dermanum if the client wants it. Let that sit for uh, a few minutes, then we can start. Right, right, let's try this. So I think if I do this, this should suck some ink up in there, right? And then uh, I'm just going to try like a simple line. Do you think it's normal that it put down so much extra ink on top of the skin instead of just at all going into it? Gotta figure out how this cable works best. Zoom in. All right, so now I should uh, wipe it down, right, with this thing, maybe? Wow. Is this right? Am I doing this right? Maybe I'll try an alcohol swab. 
Does, is this how this is supposed to be going? I mean, those lines look okay. I'm just going to practice more lines, I guess. I feel like I'm just moving the ink around when I try to wipe it down. If I look really close, I can see where each, you know, because the tattoo needle is just like actually like a bunch of little needles all bundled together. I can see like each little line from each little needle all squished together. So what should I do? Should I just practice drawing more lines? So I have like, what's with all the excess ink, right? That like pours out of there. Is that normal? I'm just going to practice like a hundred more lines. All right. I'm going to do that. At worst case scenario, uh, I'll feel more, I'll get more comfortable with using the pen, right? That's, that's the main thing I need to do right now anyways, just feel more comfortable with it in my hand as I draw lines and stuff. And so I did quickly start feeling more comfortable with it. Of course, a tattoo uh, pen or machine, whatever you want to call it, is a lot different from a pen, mostly in the sense that I guess you don't rest the tip against the surface you're tattooing, right? You gotta kind of hold it some discernible, some, that's, that's one of the things you need to practice for, right? That that level, that that distance from the skin with which you need to hold it. And uh, if you're not used to it, you're, you know, your, uh, your hand isn't used to it. This is just one of those things I've experienced before with using different shaped pencils even, um, if, if just little changes like that can fatigue your hand quickly. Most of the time we don't notice these sort of things and our hand has great amount of stamina just because we've been writing and drawing and holding pens a certain way our whole life and so our hand is used to it, but one little change and your hand can get tired quickly. Thankfully, I'm good at giving myself a lot of little breaks and I didn't expect experience a lot of pain or discomfort with this. But I did see how... Uh, uh, it, it did make a big difference, even with the most minute and uh, tiny, you know, ch changes I made with the distance I was holding the pen from the surface of the fake skin, um, which the fake skin seemed kind of like those, um, is that maybe like the same material that people, have you ever seen like those no slip mats that people put in their cupboards and then put their dishes on? It kind of. Those things are little, they're like perforated. They have holes in them and this doesn't, but that kind of is what this reminded me of a little bit. Also, is it weird that I feel like I want to practice on people, but <sighs> look, this may come across as abnormally macabre, but you know how medical students get to practice on cadavers? No, no, that is way too macabre. But that would be convenient, wouldn't it? I know they have like, uh, you can get like pig skins and stuff. Maybe, maybe some people, instead of donating their bodies to science, will donate their bodies to art. Well, I'll be there. Okay. Just put it in your will. Oh, all right. So there's one tattoo, uh, practice skin done. I learned a lot. I made a lot of progress. I learned that if you go up from seven to eight on this little guy, it starts tattooing the my desk underneath the tattoo skin. Um, it did a little bit of that uh, already just on seven, but on eight, blew clear through. Also, I learned that um, you're supposed to kind of put like Vaseline on the skin in order to, uh, you know, make it so the ink doesn't go on as much and pool there it keeps the ink kind of just moving around instead of pooling like i was having that big problem and so maybe like two-thirds of the way through i found out about the vaseline thing started doing that it was a lot better also i found out that you're not supposed to run the tattoo machine in the ink when you're refilling you just kind of dip it in there and uh it works seems to work a lot better and it has been less frustrating and i feel like i'm making progress and I want to do another skin. So I'm going to do that. I don't actually have any Vaseline. I've just been using this um, tattoo salve for like that you should put on the tattoo afterwards, but it kind of, I think, does the same thing. Same general idea. It's probably just way more expensive than Vaseline. So I should have Vaseline and I will get some in the future. Just not really a Vaseline guy, you know? 
Now, I will say if I was any better at this, I would probably want to have my own website with which to show my work, advertise my services, uh, organize my life even. And I would probably make that website and host it with Squarespace. It would be very straightforward. It would be easy to do. And it would look really sharp. I could have one page as a gallery of my previous work. I could have another page maybe for contacts, how people could get in touch with me. Another page, maybe a little section showing, you know, feeds from my social media, something like that. But even if you're not a tattoo artist or a wannabe like me, you also can make a website and it can also be cool. So head over to squarespace.com to start a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws to get 10% off. All right, let's do another one. Um, I have another practice skin, so I will do another practice skin. You can see here how it bled through a little bit. Uh, and I tattooed my desk, so I hope I didn't. Well, I mean, well, poor cutting mat. I guess that's what it's for. I think in order to stave off the boredom on this one, I will write mostly words. Hey, there are two different sides on this. I wonder if I've been doing the right side. I'm going to do the one with slightly more texture. I'm getting it dirty already. Anyways, I'm going to write mostly words to practice. Uh, just because it gets a little less boring than just a bunch of random lines like I was doing. Anyways, it's fine. Uh, first case, first though. I do have some razor blades, so we we shave the area. Okay, and I guess uh, you know it probably it's nice to you know maybe use some shaving cream if if we had it, but we don't. So you just have to power through, get a little bit of razor burn. What we do next is going to hurt worse, take longer to heal, anyways, probably. So, all right, nice, clean, smooth skin there. Throw this away, it's disposable. Don't use it um, on the next patient, client. Don't take it home and use it. All right, then I'm gonna put, slather some of the salve on there to help like repel the ink, um, like the extra ink. By the way, as I do this, I've been listening to the White Stripes nonstop. In fact, I've been listening to the White Stripes all day. I've been on a big White Stripes kick recently. Um, I just, they've just been really working for me. So just, that's just a little FYI for you. Is it TMI? I mean, I think it's just right, the right amount of I. Also, do you think I should replace the needle? How often do I need to replace the needle? I am worried it got dull because I was um, tattooing the desk underneath the skin. I'm gonna pop another one of these. Fresh towelette. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. I'm just gonna get a fresh needle, just so I stop wondering about it, because I have a few here. You know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a shader, just because. Put that old needle in the biohazard bin, along with the razor and the salad bag I had in my fridge for three months and forgot about. All right, here's the round shader. This is a, it's a 1209 round shader LT. The shader is definitely acting different. But I guess that's to be expected, because it's a shader. I wonder how close this is to real skin. I think I'll probably go back to the line soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the line. I went back to the liner and that's for some reason I promptly forgot to record, or rather, I, I reached up to start recording, but I was already recording, and I actually stopped recording. I On the second sheet of fake skin, I wrote three columns 
of just random words and phrases, whatever was popping into my head. And I didn't record the first column, but that's okay. It kind of speeds things along here. And I, for some reason, I, you know, these videos of mine lately have been kind of stretching on and on. Uh, I have, I have this, uh, I, I find it hard to let go and I feel it very difficult. I find it very difficult to chop things out. I want to, I mean, I do chop things out. I chop out large sections of things, big chunks of content, and it's very painful for me, but I leave a lot of it in there. And uh, I don't know, maybe, I think I kind of go through phases where my videos get longer, shorter. There's kind of like an algorithm thing on YouTube these days where it, I think the algorithm, someone told me somewhere along the way the algorithm is preferring longer videos, which is one reason why I think my videos have been getting longer because I have that in the back of my head. Uh, but I don't, that's definitely not the only reason. And I think it, I also want it to be kind of an experience like where you can sit down and just chill for a while. All right, just thinking out loud there. I think the reason why I practice these words with writing is because it is a good way to practice, just once again, lines, because letters, words, they're all made up of lines, right? And this is a good, varied collection of lines that go in all sorts of directions, up, down, round, about, right? And it's just once again with working on the muscle memory, getting the hand used to making these lines and shapes with a, a tool that's not entirely used to. And the ultimate goal here is for the, 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 the tool in my hand to not be a, a filter between me and the art. Because um, if it holds me back or stops me or if there's any sort of uh, barrier there, then the art will suffer. And right now it's suffering a lot, right? Because I don't know a lot of things about the tattooing and how it should work. All right, hello everyone. It is the next day now. I have slept, awoken again. Classes were canceled today because of snow and all the time I could have made use of because I didn't have class, I wasted sleeping and eating Klondike bars for breakfast. But, you know, sometimes you gotta have some time off. It's okay. I have my coffee here. And look, to be honest, I'm not gonna tattoo myself right now. I'm too afraid, and this is not a toy. It's too expensive for that, not a joke. And the reason I'm doing these practice sheets may or may not be because um, a few months ago when I first got this tattoo kit, I did first try to do a little tattoo on my thigh, and it didn't go very well. I didn't injure myself or anything, but it just, uh, it was, it's very faint and it was painful. It just didn't go very well. So yes, I think I need practice and I want to feel very comfortable with it, right? The coffee is far too hot. So I'm going to keep practicing. We're going to do one more practice sheet where I'm actually going to try doing some like uh, drawing and stuff, right? And I have uh, actual petroleum jelly now to put on this, but first another pair of gloves. All right, petroleum jelly. Hold still, sir. This will only take a moment. I think I'll apply it with the fingertip and then before there was way too much of it. So I had to like wipe some of it back off or something. It would probably help me understand this whole process a lot more if I went to an actual tattoo shop and got a tattoo from them to do research. Uh, but I don't really, to be honest, I don't, <laughs> I don't really want a tattoo that bad. I'm just kind of curious about this or something. I don't know. I also don't want a tattoo apprenticeship because all the places I went and asked, uh, they're like, okay, well, we can, we have an opening in six months and then you're locked in for two years and it's like a full-time job, but you don't really get paid. Actually, you have to pay for it. And it's just like, I'm not, I'm just kind of casually very curious in it. So, you know, which I know kind of offends some people who are not casually curious in it, take it very seriously. All right, there we go. I forgot to shave this one first, but thankfully this skin is pretty miraculously hairless, so we don't have to worry about it too much. 
Right, I'm going to replace the needle, and I'll probably pour some fresh ink since the stuff we have out here has been sitting here all night, and then we'll get started. On this third and final skin, fake skin, that we think is fake, that we hope is fake, I just do what I normally do with a lot of drawings over the past years. I just doodled. I did it like a little abstract, abstract doodle, and I thought it went pretty well. There, it, the more I did this, the more I was reminded that there are a lot of really just tons of variables with this. You know, not only how far off the surface you hold the the machine, but at what angle you hold it, and uh, you know, of course, the power setting from the the power supply thing. Uh, also, you know, things like how much of the the Vaseline I put on there, um, maybe. How, you know, if I read up on it a little, I'd probably find out that there's stuff to do with, you know, how hydrated the person is, uh, you know, if they've taken any painkillers or um, stuff like that, that that could have blood thinners in it. Because one thing I'm not dealing with at all here is the person um, bleeding at all, right? Because uh, that's a factor sometimes, or the person getting uncomfortable, moving around. That would be awful if I was drawing on someone. They moved and it made me mess up at all. But I don't think, you know, most people who are in it, are in it to win it, and they're usually, I think, pretty good at gritting their teeth, bite the bullet, and get through it. But I'm sure there are cases in which the person, um, maybe they sneeze or something, but I have no idea. Once again, uh, I'm a I'm kind of an interloper when it comes to the whole tattoo thing. I'm just kind of feeling my way through it, uh, just because I can, I guess. Also, not just because I can, but because of all the years of people saying, Peter, Peter, you should design tattoos. Or Peter, will you design a tattoo for me? Or Peter, you should do tattoos. And I'm not sure what the difference is with people, between people saying you should do tattoos or design tattoos or be a tattoo artist because these are all different things people say and I don't think they're all actually the same thing because I don't really have any interest in designing a tattoo for someone else to go get another artist tattooed on them. I mean, I don't mind at all if people get something I've already drawn tattooed on them by someone else. Uh, I'm just not going to go out of my way uh, to do that most of the time. First of all, because I don't really like commissions, but most of all, people have it in their head that they're going to pay the tattoo artist a lot of money, and they don't usually want to pay the, what, what I call myself, the drawing artist much to design it. You know, because they're, they're getting, a, you know, like double dipped there. Usually, I think, most tattoo artists, I mean, they must, they must take some pride in their work and like designing a lot of their stuff, right? Having their own kind of uh, little portfolio of stuff they can do or taking requests. I'm sure there's a wide variety of ways it can work. But if anything, I am just doing this to kind of prove it to myself and anyone watching um, like how complicated and not just easy it is. Like you can't, this is, I feel like this isn't one of those things you can just do, like just do tattoos. Like, I don't know, it's easy to comment it, but it's not that easy. It's not that simple, right? Just do it. I mean, I could just do it if I wanted to put, you know, hundreds more hours into it, but I'm not, to be honest, even though I have this big setup and everything, I'm not really sure I really want to commit to going way down this road, you know, like with the tattoo apprenticeship and everything. I am really feel like I'm just doing this to kind of sate my curiosity. Does that make any sense? After all these people saying I should do it, ultimately, everyone's got to do their own thing, and I don't think I'm ever going to be a tattoo artist. Like, that's never going to be my main thing, okay, ever. I doubt it. I sincerely, I sincerely doubt it. I don't know what will ever be my main thing. Right now, I guess I'm mainly a YouTuber, which is also weird to me. I don't know if I want that to be my main thing. Life is weird. All right. So I think that's pretty good. I'm done. My hand is cramping up because I'm not used to doing it, but I made good progress. Um, I'm not sure what the best way is to get all the uh, black ink that I've been trying to wipe off off of there. Um, I've, I'm going to take a picture of it like this and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to go try washing this with soap and water real quick and see if that kind of cleans it up 
the bunch or uh, might totally ruin it. I have no idea what'll happen. Be right back. All right, you can see there was some uh, kind of blew through a little bit. I'm not sure how worrisome this is, you know, I'm not sure how thick this is or how much uh, normal skin you're supposed to go through. Uh, but here's what it looks like after I washed it with soap and water, which seems to help a little bit. It kind of ruined my scrubby. I think it's got like ink, ink in it now. Uh, but I was pretty happy with how this turned out. Like I was, I didn't have to like struggle too much with you know, like holding it. It started to feel more and more natural. Um, and I became more and more confident. And I definitely do feel a difference between this uh, tattoo setup, which I mean, the whole setup, everything I've got here probably cost almost a thousand dollars, and the other tattoo kit I was using, which probably cost sixty dollars. Um, there's a difference. But yeah, pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for 100 million views. We got a lot of good practice in. I'll just do a bunch more of these, maybe. Whatever I have. I mean, it's a kind of a lot of setup, you know, but. That's the main problem with just randomly doing more practice, but I'm happy with what we did today. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Kind of all blacked out here. See you later. All right. Goodbye.